the inviting surroundings of Jinjin, located 84 kilometers north of Perth, welcomes everyone with relaxing spaces nestled among the historical icons. Inside this popular port of call, the residents are being given a say in securing a prosperous future for the town with the help of their local community bank. We here for our customers, we offer banking services, but the profits from our business actually go back to the community to make a difference in the community. It's great that a community can put it or a community orientated bank can put it back into the community. Yeah, well and truly. One particular project that has been given an A plus by the residents is an investment in Jinjin's youth. Good morning, Mr. Brady. Jinjin Community Bank has been fantastic for this school. They've put over $120,000 into this school over the last decade. A part of that has been to support our project to, to develop interactive whiteboards in the school. Um, 24. Interactive whiteboards are the 21st century equivalent of the blackboard. They, they think it's amazing. They love to touch it and get up and use it and they seem to really engage with the board a lot more than giving them a piece of paper. Yeah, everyone was really excited about them. I thought they were great. Everyone wanted to try them. Kids absolutely love them. Our children now have access to uh, interacting with other children around the world, access to software which is interactive, and for our school we could not have achieved what we've achieved without the Jinjin Community Bank. Jinjin's emergency services volunteers also share the vision of giving back. Local volunteer Patricia explains how important the community bank assistance is. This has made it very much easier for the volunteers because we don't have to do fundraising as much because we get that sponsorship which makes it so much easier. With a $50,000 donation from the community bank, the new ambulance is making a difference to a lot of people in and around the town. The local ambulance committees haven't had to cut corners in trying to get these facilities. They've been able to put these great facilities on the road, which are then helping our local community. Road services are one of the major things that we do attend to. And a lot of elderly in the town are sort of requiring more and more services. I think you've got to have someone who steps up and helps the community. Jinjin Community Bank is doing a marvellous thing in the Shire of Jinjin, and they are just giving so much to us that yeah, I'm proud to be a Bendigo Bank patron myself and I'm proud of the Bendigo Bank of what they do in our town. For the busy St John's Depot of Lancelin, a quick response by the local community bank has also assisted in adding services to their fleet. It certainly made a difference to us having it because it, the opening of the new road, it's given us a lot more work and it makes it a lot easier for us to respond with the two vans instead of just with the one van. Oh, it's great. It's, I think it's the best thing that we've had happen to Lancelin for quite a while, actually. It certainly makes life a lot easier for going out. You know, it's reliable. Pleased with this generous assistance, Rachel explains just how her view has now changed. Oh, I just thought they were just like another bank. <laughs> just there to take your money and come back. And that was it. Take it, not give. But they, Benigo Bank, just give. Emergency services aren't the only members looking after people's health. The new Jinjin Jin Hardcourt facility has sporting activities for every age and the whole region is invited to play. We incorporate other towns outside of our shire to participate in sports. Um, our tennis clubs play a lot of towns that are outside of our shire and netball likewise. With assistance of over $150,000 from the Jinjin Jin Community Bank, what sort of response have they had? We're getting now 60, to 60, up to 60 people coming to tennis here on a Thursday night and in the past on the old courts probably getting five or ten. The sporting groups are wrapped, um, they've got some great facilities uh, with the envy of their peers in other towns. Profits out of this bank not only go to shareholders in it but it goes back into the community here and with, without that in the town this facility would not be here.